Hi, Jeff Cote here with VotingTechTalk.com. So we're actually going to be uh, presenting today a box opening of one of my favorite products, uh, which is a battery monitor. And today we're looking at actually a Victron battery monitor called the BMV 700. Um, BMV 700 is actually for single battery, meaning it doesn't have actually like the 702, the ability to do a secondary battery voltage. Um, so it's basically for people that are installing a battery monitor on a battery bank. Remember, battery monitors are meant to monitor a battery bank. The battery bank can be one or can be many batteries. So here's what it comes in in the little package. And even because I think what they're trying to show you is what's actually included. So you've got over here the battery monitor that you're going to be mounting somewhere accessible. Generally, not necessarily where the batteries are because the good news is we're going to be opening this and we'll see there's cabling. Uh, they also even have the shunt. Uh, you can actually see at the bottom there's a little bit of the wiring that is in between uh, the shunt and the battery monitor. And then they've got a little fascia. So we're going to start opening. Oh, by the way, I can't emphasize this enough. The great thing that actually Victron, I, I am telling you, man, the people over there are just awesome. What they did is they actually did a wiring diagram. <laughs> they actually give you a little bit of a sense of the scope. And even better, they're actually even showing you what happens if you have a second battery. And where, and this is key, where does the second battery wiring go to? So they're actually saying, okay, this is a battery monitor for one battery. But if you happen to have a second one, make sure, you notice here, the negative here actually will connect to the load side of the shunt because otherwise if you brought it here you'd be measuring the battery current going in and out for both batteries okay so with that we're going to get started um like i said victron is an amazing company um they're actually inspiring they're leading uh and doing things that nobody else is doing and as a boulder um i find it just refreshing it's uh it's really avant-garde but yet reliable so it's there must i i i've never i mean i deal with the engineers from the company but i've never been or had a tour because i haven't been to amsterdam to um i believe they have a meth show that i want to do i was supposed to go there last year didn't go uh next time we get to travel i'm gonna head over here so i took out the box uh notice okay the manual don't be intimidated it's in multiple languages. It's, you can see there's a lot of different languages. It's not that bad. Okay, so this is the manual, and I don't know, it looks like eight different languages. So no big deal. You're only going to read a small portion of it. Okay, so here we go again. Uh, that was inside the box. Um, so you basically, uh, slowly but surely, again, take that away. And so what do we have? Um, this is actually... Uh, the battery monitor shunt and it's actually a smart shunt because you can actually see it actually has uh, what's considered a telephone jack this is not ethernet um, would actually connect right into this port and so what they're trying to do is they're trying to make it easy right which is good how do we bring the information that is actually from this shunt and how do we interconnect it to this device over here which is your battery monitor right so the battery monitor actually has a port at the back and so the good news with the Victron BMV 700 702 or 712 and the 712 is just the Bluetooth model so you can actually remotely access this device but right now we're doing a demo an open box for the 700 um, little gauge it's probably it's the same sort of cutout as most of the engine gauges that you have on your boat right um, so the cutout is not too hard and notice this, this is kind of neat it's got a ring in the back um, so that you can actually mount it and then re-tighten the ring down so that you actually have this not moving. So they did a really good job with that. Uh, that's really nice. Um, comes with uh, this telephone wire. I think it's about probably 50 feet, 15 meters or something like this. Um, so it's long enough. It's pretty rare. We've had to extend it sometimes. We'll use a telephone jack sort of uh, female to female so that we can do male to male. So we'll do that. And then lastly, it comes with the fuse uh, to obviously power the shunt and also to uh, monitor the battery voltage. So basically, that's all it that you get in this little fascia so that when you have a cutout, it looks good. So if you're actually noticing, the battery monitor is sort of in the middle, right? And 
you're going to be able to have current going in and out of this showing up on the meter. And the other thing too that the uh, meter is going to tell you is it's actually also going to be counting the cumulative amp hours that have been added or taken away and it's going to show that to you which is probably one of the most important things of a battery monitor not just instantaneous amps in or out but what is the cumulative amp hours and what is your amp hour capacity so obviously essentially you need to actually configure what the battery size is so they can tell you you know proportionally if you took out let's say 50 amp hours well, did you take out 50 amp hours out of a 100 amp hour battery or 50 amp hours out of 400 amp hour battery? So the battery monitor is going to be able to knowing when you calibrate and say, okay, I, you're an AGM battery, you're 200 amp hour battery bank, and then it's going to take that information and when it's calculating battery percentage, it's going to be able to know what's the percentage of capacity that is left in your battery bank. So battery monitors are, I would say, probably my number one coolest thing on a boat. Um, and the reason is, is because it takes the guesswork out of knowing where your batteries are at. Victron, again, makes an awesome one. Honestly, this is incredible schematic. I remember even onboarding new technicians in our company and telling them, when in doubt, look at the battery box. It's even telling you like full size schematic on how to actually properly wire a battery monitor on your boat. So thanks for watching and uh, if you've got further questions on battery monitors, search on our website. There's literally hundreds of videos, articles and uh, posts just related on understanding and installing a battery monitor on your boat. Thanks for watching this video. Also, we appreciate the feedback. If you've got further questions or ideas on content, post them down below. Remember, sharing is caring and that's how we all learn. And don't forget, subscribe to our YouTube channel right here. Subscribe. Thanks for watching.